So what's going on with these recovery homes? Is this project still underway? Yeah, I'm trying to get them. What's the hold up? What's the biggest challenge? Money. You know what I mean? That's it. You looking for an investor? Or? Yeah, you know somebody want to help people who Not can't really. help themselves? I don't even understand the business that well. You yeah. build you build these buildings and then it's, it's kind of like a hotel, but you get the insurance companies to pay for it? Medicaid and all that shit. Mm. You know what I mean? It's good money. Do you think you could do a better job of that service than what exists already? Yeah, because I lived it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So my heart is into it. A lot of people have, since 2005 should have OD. Mm -hmm. More deaths from 2005 from more deaths um, than World War One, World War Two, and Vietnam combined. Mm. It's a lot of people. Yeah. The, yeah. the drug shit is just out of control these days. It's crazy. Marijuana is the way to go. I would say marijuana is probably the healthy high, I would call it, right? The healthy alternative? I would say. I definitely feel that way. Yeah. I mean, I left all the other drugs behind, and the weed just, I, I don't know, it just stuck with me. Yeah? Yeah. I used to have some f crazy crazy times like I was when I think about it I'm like I really kind of skated without having to deal with almost any consequences and still managed to kind of dip out before it got a little too real yeah well life's real especially when you're doing drugs I call it people still call it getting high I call it getting low mm. I mean, when you're getting out of it I mean, nothing right when I do cocaine I don't feel like I'm getting low no like I'm getting high like yeah. too much energy yeah you have to do a lot of it for it to become like a low experience right but I've definitely known those kind of. I'm just talking as well. about what the because the um you know the consequences with this all this fentanyl and all this shit like you can't really what, why would you even take the risk? Yeah, you know what I mean. No, I kind of bailed out before that became too much of a thing. But uh, Lil Peep passed away in like 2017 from a fentanyl Xanax, and that was kind of like this real eye opening thing for a lot of us of like oh, young ass kid, yeah, still got got by yeah. that shit and thought he was just thought he was just taking the Xanax. Yeah. No. I got from a fan. A fan? Mm-hmm. The fan didn't know it was fentanyl. The fan, if I had to guess, probably had a higher tolerance. Because a lot of people want the, the fentanyl pills. They request it. Yeah, there are people addicted to fentanyl. <laughs> if somebody tells you that they're addicted to taking Perk 30s, they're probably not talking about some medical shit. They're talking about some fake shit. That's crazy, because that lets you know how, like, far from the drug game that I am. You never you never got back into it after the coma? No. Just wasn't even an option in your head? Just on to totally different... No, somebody tried to kill me, bro. I didn't even, you know, I didn't even do drugs that night. Okay. You really... I didn't, somebody put something in your drink or something? something? Yeah. I went down, went to the, the Bunny Ranch, sat down, had a drink, woke up three days later. They said I, you know, was never going to walk or talk again. Who do you feel like could have had the motivation to do that? I don't know. I think about this, think about it to this day. One of the chicks in the Bunny Ranch, perhaps, but um, that dude Dennis Hoff, the dude that owned it, he was a sketchy character. Yeah. You think he might have had a grudge against you? I don't have a grudge. You're probably a pretty good customer. <laughs> yeah, so I gave him seventy five thousand dollars as soon as I got there. Uh, right. You know what I mean? <laughs> Damn. So when you look back at at that time, though. Like, as you're coming out of the, the coma and everything, is like, are you having this realization of, like, I need to change my life? Like, I just can't go back to the way that I was before this. Because a lot of people do. Well, I mean, I had 12 strokes and six heart attacks. Mm. You know what I mean? So, like, I wouldn't even f around with putting myself in that type of position again. Mm. How many, uh, how, how, how many months or how long was the rehab to get back to some sort well, of normalcy? I, you know, I've, I've started to... Um, Heal um, a lot faster than expected, and um, which made me not take some of my um, my cognitive therapy so serious. And um, but it took like maybe like six months, everything together, mm -hmm. from going from you know the, um, they thinking I'm not never going to be able to walk and talk again, or walking and talking again. Maybe like six months, seven months, maybe a whole year. Maybe I can't even really remember. Right. Remember's bad.
And like one thing that is crazy to me that I found out while researching for this is that you first tried coke basically in a scenario where you were you were cucking some dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some random guy is basically like yeah, inviting him to do coke wife, with with his, his wife. wife. Yeah, he left. Me. Oh, he left. Yeah, he didn't stay right there. But he left. Yeah. While you were with his girl. Yeah. Yeah, I was in Miami. You did some good, good research. Pretty good at your job. Would it have weirded you out if he was sitting in the corner? Because that's how that's how this proceeds a lot of times. Yeah, at that point in my life, probably so. I think so. It would have weirded me out. I would have made him leave. But once you got deeper into it, at that, that might not have bothered you. But no, nah, once I hit if once I hit that coke, it probably it probably wouldn't <laughs> it probably wouldn't have bothered me. The shit did You're change flying. after that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shit did change after that. Right. Damn. It probably wouldn't bother me, but. We should probably find out where she's at right now. She's little blonde, part of little blonde woman. Nice rack, round tits. Yeah. Can't remember her name, though. She'd be a good guest. I would love to talk to her. Yeah. But any woman could just lie and say that that was them. No. Right. That wouldn't be a good interview anyway, by the way. No, probably not. Just some random cokehead lady. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I have a crazy memory, and I won't, out of respect, I won't name the person, but there's basically like a person who was like a big figure in the podcasting space. And my last time seeing him before he died, he invited me to his hotel room, and I started to feel like it was the scenario that you're describing. And I said no. And then didn't take long, but lost his life. That made me wonder, like, fuck, I should have done it. It would have been an honor, right? I'm not to die with him. Not to die, but to... <laughs> did he die? Did he die? <laughs> did he, did he, That's an honor. <laughs> no, he did, died of something completely unrelated. <laughs> oh, oh okay. okay. I thought... I was about to say he died that night off doing a call. I thought he died no, that no, no, night. No, no. But it made me feel like, holy shit, I could have had this incredibly intense experience. Like, where I probably would have got to know this motherfucker on a real, totally different level. Were you close with him? Kind of close, but not like do cocaine with him and potentially have sex with the, his girlfriend. Yeah, not that close. That. Yeah. Oh, he wanted you to have sex with his girlfriend. Potentially, that's what you feel from your gut was telling you. That? He didn't say that, but he said, like, do you want to come back to the hotel room and do some coke with me and my girlfriend? And I'm kind of, he's like an older guy. I'm kind of thinking like, oh, yeah. fuck. And I had never done anything like that before. So I was, and, and at that you. point even, I was, I was done with the coke. So I'm like, nah, nah, I'm good. I, I can't. It scared you, basically. It, it, it kind of like weirded me out a little because I was I hadn't really been exposed to that sort of thing. Yeah. I wouldn't have been down either. So. Oh come on, Zach. <laughs> Just I know people watching like think I would be the type of guy to do that. 